right, I'm gonna break from my conversation on air filtration, I think now for a while. Uh, I'm gonna go on to another tool. This is the uh, bar rail grinder from Bailey's. Uh, I am pretty sure that this might be the only thing really available right now in the US that is a dedicated bar rail grinder in current production. And obviously another company is making this for them, but this is the Woodland Pro, I believe they call it. Uh, bar rail grinder from Bailey's. Uh, all I did was mount it to a 2x4 so I can put on my bench here. I just put a couple of screws in, you can see there, and then uh, I'm clamping it to my little work table here so I can do it outside if it was, if it was nicer out. So um, I will show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward. But you can see um, all there is is an on-off switch. It has the guard underneath and above. Uh, I bought a few extra stones, grinding wheels from, uh, from Bailey's. But you can see it's a pretty quiet motor. The light, nice and quiet. Let me put you in the tripod here. So it's a good idea to wear gloves for this because you are dealing with possible sharp edges, metal uh, coming off. So this bar, I've done it a few passes already. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to remove all your burrs uh, from the uh, this side, you know, from the sides so that when you feed it through, you are feeding it flat. Um, you also want to make sure you have a depth tool uh, the steel depth gauge for grinding chain also has a gauge on it to measure the depth of your bar rails and it varies by chain type so keep an eye on that this one is fine to be ground I've already ground it once um, but you can see on this um, hope that picks up you see there's still some areas where it's not shiny, so the grinder did not get to it. Um, this side is slightly better, but there's still some areas that, um, the test I like to do is I find a level surface. Uh, this is probably not level, but I will actually try and balance it and see if it stands. Uh, this stands, but that's just a rudimentary test. It seems to work pretty well for me. But uh, I'm just going to hit this one more time because each side needs another pass. And I thought I would just show you how it works. Uh, so once again, I think this is the only grinder currently on the market for this. I would love a bar shop, but I don't, you know, good luck finding one of those. So just set it on here. I feed away from the uh, nose. All you're going to do is line it up. Make sure you're not by the teeth there. And just a light pass. So now we did actually hit all the sides on this side. Let's run this side here. Pretty quiet machine. You know, balance is a lot easier now. Um, so you know we're pretty straight here. Um, this bar was in pretty bad shape when I got it. it. Had clearly never really been dressed or anything. So you know, it took me a while. I usually use, depending on how much of an edge, either a file or a die grinder, to take the sharp edge off here so you get it flat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, you would just want to make sure you got enough depth before you decide to grind or grind again. But the big thing is to make sure you get those ridges off so that you have a perfectly square 90 degree right there. So if anyone has any questions on this, let me know. Um, 
I haven't had it very long, but I uh, like it so far. Hopefully it holds up. Uh, the only negative I have seen on this from just going through forums online is that people say the, uh, the wheels uh, wear pretty quickly. Um, so we will see. But like I said, I, I bought a few extra. But uh, you know you want to do, you know, I was kind of struggling a little bit here with the camera on the way. But you definitely want to make a clean pass all the way through. You don't want to pause or else you put, you know, ridges and you won't get a nice clean, clean edge on it. So uh, I think it's a much better alternative than, you know, I used to use one of the hand ones that has the 90 degree and you just keep on dragging across. And I mean, it's just a real pain. So, uh, so far I would recommend it. We'll see how it holds up, but I uh, just wanted to give the quick look at this. So thank you very much.